Welcome to Awards for Young Musicians Autumn Fundraising Concert. Thank you for joining us. My name is Ksenia Sidorova and I'm a classical accordionist. You may have seen me perform at the last night of the proms in September and I have been a patron of AYN for many years now and we have done some wonderful projects together such as our accordion takeover of the King's Cross station back in 2014. It's wonderful to be your host tonight. We are delighted that so many of our supporters are able to join us today. And if you're new to AYM, we hope you will be inspired to get involved in the work of this fantastic charity. If you would like to chat with us during the show, please join us on Twitter using a hashtag giving talent a chance. Musical talent is everywhere, but opportunity isn't. Family finances and other obstacles often get in the way. AYM is here to change this, and I will tell you more about our work shortly. AYM is once again taking part in the Big Give Christmas Challenge fundraising campaign. Every donation made to the campaign from today, Tuesday the 30th of November, to 12 noon on Tuesday 7th of December can be doubled. More information is coming up later. First, I am delighted to introduce singer-songwriter Phoebe Austin. Phoebe is being supported by AYM for the first time this year, thanks to the Mike Beamant Award for Music Technology. The funding has enabled her to work with music producer who has been giving her a range of expert help. Here is Phoebe. The poets heard the words cut deep Don't get too close, you'll see what's hiding Underneath they bear the sounds that no one hears And when the spotlight Disappears. They sink beneath the waves of serenity and search for years for a single minded remedy in the melody of a thousand silent screams and a million wasted dreams. Disappears. 
I'm Phoebe Austin and I'm a singer-songwriter from Sudbury in Suffolk. For me, songwriting has always been the way that I've processed and expressed my emotions. So that's usually how my songwriting process starts. I have a lot of lyrics and phrases that I have written down in my phone from moments when inspiration has just struck, whether that be from an experience I've been having at the time or something that's popped up in my head when I'm dwelling on emotions. So when I go into writing a song, I usually will pull up that folder and see which ones kind of grab my attention. Uh, so I'll, I'll usually be at my piano or playing my guitar, fiddling around with some chords, trying to find a melody, and then it will go from there and the lyrics will kind of craft around it. And it's a really cathartic experience and it's one that I really enjoy and I'm really, really glad that I get to share with people. A big round of applause to Phoebe's performance. At AYM, we give talent a chance. We support individual young musicians from low-income families with funding and other help. We also support musical education through training, advocacy and research, ensuring young musicians' potential is better identified and progressed. This combination creates real impact. Our work spans all musical genres, as you will see tonight. Our programs are targeted to help young musicians from across the UK to grow, flourish and fulfill their musical potential. Most of tonight's performers are supported by our awards program. The one exception is Dishnell Gordon, AYM alumnus and now a fellow AYM patron. We support Dee Chanel through our Furthering Talent program for four years, 
when he was in early stages of his musical journey as a jazz pianist. This year, we have made some exciting changes to our awards program. For example, young people can now apply for funding support at any time of the year. We no longer have deadlines. So they can get help when they need it most. AYM has also launched a monthly online events program for the award winners. Taking on board the learning from all these months everyone spent on Zoom. They've put together a great series of events. Some are quite specific, for example, music production or folk music, whilst others are looking at wider themes, such as marketing yourself as a performer, looking after your well being, overcoming gender barriers in the music industry, and career options beyond the stage, to name but a few. But now, on for some more music. I am delighted to present the cellist and AYM award winner, Haru Ogiwara. Some viewers will recognize Haru from previous events. For example, he played alongside another AYM supported musician, harpist Keris Jones, at the inaugural Youth Music Awards at Battersea Arts Center in 2019. And just before the first lockdown, he performed at our Angels Evening at the Handel Hendrix Museum. This year we are supporting him through the John Scruton Award for Strings. Hello, I'm Haru, I'm 16 years old and I live in North London. Today I'm going to be playing Alberto Hinestella's Pan Piana No. 2. In other words, it's a rhapsody for cello and piano. What I love most about this piece is found in its title, the fact that it's a rhapsody and the fact that it's Pampiana. We'll get on to why that's uh, important in a second. But uh, the rhapsodic part of this piece really brings out its interweaving uh, rhythms, which is really iconic in this piece. And I think that's what brings out its energies much of the time um, in all of its movements, which really is another key part of this piece because it is split into three distinct movements um, being the start, middle and end, of course, which, give it, which gives it its very programmatic feeling to it. It's very scenic. And I think that brings us on to the meaning of Pampiana, which is, in fact, a land of growth, of life, of fertility. In fact, that's exactly what it means when it depicts the Argentinian landscape. And um, keeping that in mind, I think that's what brings out the real energy of this piece. And that's what I love the most about it. So. Uh, Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy.
What a brilliant performance from Haru, thank you! I'll be shortly introducing you to our pianist Dishanel Gordon, an alumnus of the Furthering Talent program. Furthering Talent is a national program. It is designed to identify the early musical potential of young people for our low-income families and support them to access music education via funding their tuition and giving them a range of opportunities. The program also works with their teachers, families and wider regional partners too. Thanks to youth music and other generous funders, 600 young people are participating in furthering talent across 15 regions of England. Bournemouth, Brighton and Hove, Greater Manchester, Hull, Leicestershire, Lewisham, Liverpool, Manchester City, the Northwest Midlands, Nottinghamshire, Sheffield, Sunderland, Wiltshire and Worcestershire. The program's bespoke support is so successful that the dropout rate is incredibly low, even with the challenges of COVID. A fantastic 91% of participating young people are continuing to progress on the program. AYM supported D. Chanel for four years through Furthering Talent program when he was at secondary school helping with the both the cost of his jazz piano lessons and also mentoring from jazz musician Steve Lauder. Last year, D. Chanel was named BBC Young Jazz Musician 2020. Here is D. Chanel.
a wonderful performance from D. Chanel. Thank you. I am now delighted to introduce you to a brand new AYM Jazz Trio. They only met first time just under a month ago with D. Chanel leading rehearsals. Joining D. Chanel is violinist Casey Joan White and trombonist Elijah Clark. AYM has supported Casey for two years, but we only discovered what a brilliant jazz musician she is quite recently, when she took part in an online masterclass from another AYM patron and my good friend, Thomas Gould. Enjoy.
Hello everyone, my name's Elijah and without music, I don't believe I could have matured into the person I am today. It is incredibly humbling to perform with experienced musicians and I have learned how to absorb information and listen to others. Anyone that has played music and performed to people can say it has helped them to become more confident and it has definitely helped me. As a young performer, I wouldn't have been able to stand up in front of loads of people and play and express myself without these skills. Music is also such an amazing outlet to express how I'm feeling, and at times it can make us very vulnerable, but I believe that is a good thing. Although I have the bands that I play with, motivating myself to practice when I haven't had trombone teachers has been difficult. It is hard to find teachers who are in the right proximity to where I live, that fit my schedule and are just focused. But AYM support has given me numerous opportunities and the financial help for trombone lessons, which has aided my progression with my instrument immensely. I don't know if music will stay my main profession, but I know that I owe my life to it. I can always envision myself performing in front of other people. That will always be part of my journey and I will not be the same person without it. Thank you.
It is approaching two years since the pandemic began. And it has been a tough time for everyone. But it is fair to say that children and young people have been particularly badly affected. It's been incredibly difficult. COVID has further highlighted how limited family income increases inequalities. Whether it's been those who have been able to work from home and those who haven't, or those with necessary technology and those without it. As our strapline makes clear, musical talent is everywhere, but opportunity isn't. Limited family income continues to get in the way for many young musicians. This is where we come in. We are incredibly proud of the young musicians we support, like those you've heard this evening. Their musical success, even during the challenges of the pandemic, is possible thanks to AYM supporters, our donors, trusts, foundations, important public funders like Youth Music and Arts Council England, and those who leave us a generous legacy. Thanks to our supporters, we are now helping 800 young people across the UK with vital funding and other assistance for their music making. But there are so many more musicians we could help if we had more resources. Today sees the start of the Big Give Christmas Challenge 2021, the UK's largest match funding campaign. AYM has taken part every year for the last 10 years. So if you're able to donate online from today, Tuesday the 30th of November to 12 noon on Tuesday the 7th of December, your donation can be doubled. With your help, we want to raise at least £70,000. Just click on the Big Give link below the stream and we will get in touch to tell you more about how to donate. Or you might be willing to set up a regular gift. For example, you can join our host of angels who donate from £84 a month to support all our programs. Set up your donation or find out more about AYM Angels via the links below. You can also join our mailing list there too. Your time and your contacts are also hugely valuable to us. Please do help spread the word by telling others about the work of our charity. The new to AYM link below will take you to the latest information to share with them. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed tonight's performances. Thank you so much for joining us again and have a wonderful evening.